Hey, what's going on everyone? Julia Dars, thank you so much for watching. And um, actually this video is not that, you know, the video that I planned or it's not about nutrition or brain or mind or fitness or anything like that. I actually wanted to make this video for quite, quite a while, but then I was always thinking that it's kind of like inappropriate and you know, when you're talking about uh, paying for services, it's actually everybody, uh, everybody's own business kind of thing. But I feel like, you know, it just, it's gone so far and nobody talks about it. And, you know, I, I'm not gonna hesitate uh, and I'm gonna talk about the, in this video in a very open manner and I'm gonna be as transparent as possible. And the video, uh, the topic of this video is actually uh, coaching. Doesn't matter what kind of coaching we're talking about. It's uh, fitness coaching, nutritional coaching and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm, you know, getting a lot of uh, inquiries on Facebook, Instagram and stuff like that about my coaching, about my nutritional coaching, my fitness coaching online app that I'm using. And I can tell that my prices are not super high uh, or, you know, they beyond a normal price range for that kind of things that I'm doing. But let me tell you something. Um, for people especially who think that, you know, uh, it, coaching, fitness coaching and nutritional coaching should be very uh, inexpensive and low, well, think about this way. First of all, your fitness coach, your health coach or your nutritional coach, which is probably kind of like falls into the same category, uh, spending uh, more time with you than your own doctor. And I'm not trying to generalize uh, every coach out there. I know there are some coaches that they don't spend any money on continuing education, for example. They got their certification once and they, you know, just uh, kind of the, they know how to do certain things or they learned from their coach how to do that, uh, writing some sort of meal plans and stuff like that, calculating. It's, it's, it's quite easy. Come on, like calculate how much calories you're eating. It's really not um, a rocket science. But then what comes afterwards, this is the actual, you know, coaching. This is where the coaching starts. Um, things like uh, metabolic adaptations, right? What to do. There are so many researches and studies that show us how to not quote unquote avoid metabolic adaptation. It will occur, especially if you're on the calorie deficit, but how to kind of like slow it down and push it back as far as we can. Um, the second thing that probably when uh, we coaching uh, training wise, right, like a workout, there's also a lot of things that we have to take as co as fitness trainers into consideration. Things that you know, genetic uh, genetic limitations of the person, uh, different injuries, and connect certain things like how brain reacts to certain stimuli and stuff like that, that also matters. Now, back at the time when people really didn't know anything about mind, brain, uh, neuroscience, it was relatively new, uh, things were very simple, you know? Your client comes to for you for a training session and pretty much your client is paying for your, for being quote unquote motivated, right? Because otherwise the person wouldn't even come to the gym, you know, on its own. Motivation is a really tricky thing. And uh, then we have to think about it, coaching in general, like, uh, for example, if my client is, I'm coaching my client, right? So there are certain things that I require, like check-ins, photos, that we all do. But then, you know, it's not for a sake of getting some sort of a appearance that I'm doing certain work, but actually analyzing things and actually talking to your client, asking correct questions, like how was your diet experience this week? And, you know, being able to identify where um, we can tweak certain things to change the coaching into the maybe a, a faster speed, if we're talking about uh, weight loss or weight 
again, it doesn't really matter what we're doing, but then to be involved in the client um, goals completely, right? And sometimes when the goal is not in, um, appropriate, we have to think and we have to not push the client toward another goal or a lower speed, for example, but kind of like educate them, right? Why this goal in this particular time frame is not really good for you. That's number one, number two, number three, and number four probably already. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that um, I really don't like that I'm what I'm seeing right now that fitness coaches and nutritional coaching coaches they are so underpriced and if you think about it if the coaching is right I coach people I don't want to be with a person for the entire uh, span of his life right I want to coach the client get to the point where he wants to be educate the client and just let it, let him go some sort of like an academy um, setting right and then this client can just continue without me so we're talking about one probably time investment in your health we're not talking about new car new car won't bring you health especially due to the current situation in our planet I would say investing in your health should be your first priority because if you are healthy a you can generate money you can generate income for your for your family uh, avoiding injuries uh, avoiding um, any setbacks you know a stress mood and stuff like that so this is what we we do a good coaches a good coach is the coach who actually spends money on education and this is when we are able to raise our prices. I have seven years of experience. I spent thousands of thousand of dollars uh, on education, on continuous education. And I'm getting the, the cert certificates, different types of certificates, not because I want to satisfy my ego, but because I want to see maybe something new, maybe something new came up. I want to reintroduce uh, kind of like the same Thing that I've learned but now with a maybe different uh, mindset that I'm having because if the coach has uh, some sort of a, you know thinking in box mindset I can't say that it's a bad coach but everything is changing new studies there's the currently going on very often and we can learn from that and be open-minded so maybe the approach that we were using five years ago it's not really good right now because there was um, a bias approach like you know keto diet when keto diet uh, just came out to the world everybody thought that oh huh, this is a question uh, this is the answer right the carbohydrates are very bad now keto is very good so it's changing everything is evolving so a good coach has to be on top of everything and spend money on education. Education is a, is a key, right? Education is road to a success. When we're talking about consumer or clientele, right? Uh, guys, if you go to Prada store, for example, if you see that uh, beautiful bag, you probably won't go to the salesperson and ask him, look, can you lower the price of this bag just because I was thinking to spend less on the bag and now I see that, you know, the price is kind of higher than I expected. So can you just lower the price or, you know, can you just give me that bag? Well, what is, is it so hard for you? That's just one bag out of million that you produce. So it doesn't really matter if one bag just goes for free, right? You won't never do that, I hope. Uh, so the same goes with any type of coaching. If you come into the coach and you're ready to spend some money, is you're gonna waste the money. You're investing in your own health, mind, spirit, and the entire life. And then you can teach your kids, you can teach your family, you can be a good example for your family as well, and a good example for others. But if you were expecting just, you know, get a coach, 
lose like five pounds and that's it well yeah that probably it's not really a good investment in your uh, health if you don't understand how things work at least as a mediocre I would say don't do it at all like just try to do it on your own read some Google stuff you know play around with everything and maybe in 10 or 15 years you will figure out because I'm telling you I'm spending enormous amount of time on education almost 24 7 I don't watch TV because for me you know getting knowledge in my head and constantly uh, relearning relearning things that's the whole point because I want to be an exceptional coach not just a good coach so and I won't charge less that I think my services cost all right it may be not the you know the fancy stuff like getting PDF files or some sort of like ah, different recipes oh I bought my my you know my um, let's say meal plan and I got these cute little PDF stuff for what do you do you think this thing has any value in your health no you might as well just go and Google and you know type diet recipes and you'll get it for free without paying anything or 16 calories meal plan that's it bam you got it you don't even have to change uh, you know to, to pay anything but then when we when coach comes in is when it's an implementation it's behavioral changes it's a monitoring it's uh, accountability reliability and stuff like that this is when this is what you're paying for and for an, uh, a proper knowledge and guidance this is what you pay for not for a fancy PDF file and you know different uh, colorful pictures in that file all right so well that's what I wanted to say and I hope you guys you know I just hope that the whole coaching system will shift and there are more coaches more fitness trainers will understand that keeping the price low but at the same time when you keep the price low you don't educate yourself it won't do it won't make you a good coach all right and you may get a result with like this picture here this picture here oh see my client lost a lot of weight from January to like March half weight of what he got yes all right so then show me the pictures in one year or in two years how about that before and after show me those pictures why we don't see any of those pictures that's the point why I'm not posting pictures before and after just because it's a very personal thing and I don't want to misguide anyone or give up not a proper kind of like um, understanding of the process you know because it may be completely different with you and I don't want to um, give this sense to the client and then the client will be disappointing just because everything is so individualized that you cannot compare yourself to even your own sister or your own twin which we already know so guys don't believe in those pictures first and don't undermine the power of coaching and the right coaching approach all right Thank you so much. I hope we will shift this fitness freaking stuff from here to the very important. It's more important than anything else. And everything starts from your health. Okay? Thank you so much for watching Julia Dars. That was my emotional video that I wanted to do for a long time. And no offense, but it is what it is. It's life, so we have to admit it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay healthy and talk to you soon.